if you search on the internet resume templates for free you will end up looking at lot of websites that claim that the templates are free let's try it for ourselves if these resume templates are really for free if you use any of these templates from the plethora of templates that they offer and you want to edit it once you start editing and want to download this as a pdf it would ask you to pay to download this particular resume that you just edited and the prices are also high hi everyone this is anshula jain also techie anshi with a decade long experience working with data i started this channel to help anybody kick off their career and to excel in whatever they are currently doing in this video on my channel we are going to create a free resume template using just powerpoint which will help you create a top notch resume to apply to any of the jobs in the market if you like this video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and do share it with anybody who might benefit from this so let's dive into this video for this as i said you will need a powerpoint presentation you could go to file and new from template Over here you will see a few templates which you might be seeing from a young age and these are all the basic ones that you can see always but if on the top right corner where you can see a search bar if you type in resume you will end up seeing a few templates which are infographical and a beautiful looking resume templates so for this one we are going to experiment with the timeline infographic resume over here from the Uh, PPT. If you could see this, this is a very beautifully created resume. However, the colors on this are very high, which don't look as professional as you would want them to. So for this, we'll go into the view and the slide master. If you go into the slide master, you can edit this master template. Now you can choose a different theme. or a different color in the slide master however if you see any of these colors that you pick they don't look as professional as they should for a resume right you could use a gray scale as well but even the gray scale over here doesn't really complement as to how a resume should look like so what we are going to do is we are going to edit the colors based on how we need them to be so on the first box on the top left corner we are going to fill this in a black color and also the above one which is on the top right again in black color just to make sure that we have a banner on top right similarly if you can see i am following a black gray and white kind of a color theme over here so this is what i am going to do i am editing the text over here to black and then over here on the next panel as well let's change the text color to black and the background of this to a light light gray color which should look decent as well for the resume again the bottom most box we are going to color code this in white and the text in black you will not believe this is one of those resumes that actually landed me the job in which i currently am so if you like this again please don't forget to hit the like button now once you have done editing all the right sides what i'm going to do is update all the things on the left side or the whole left pane the text again is black if you can see the hobby section it doesn't have a background which uh, doesn't look so good so i'm just going to extend uh this box till the bottom of the page so that it just goes from top to bottom now all that we are going to do is again create a gray white background for these boxes on the left side so that they complement to what we have on the right side as well so with this we have like our basic color coding done to the a uh, resume that we want and this is how it would start to look like yeah i know there are certain things over here again that uh, are not complementing especially you can't read the text so let's quickly again change the color of these to white uh, so that you can at least read the text over here and also on the bottom left corner if you see the hobby section that is again gray and it's not so visible and not complementing on the gray uh, part of it so we'll just change that to black as well 
with this our basic template for the resume is ready and now we can start to edit it basis how we need this to be so we'll just begin it with the top left corner which is your image make sure you pull in a decent image change the picture from a file and pull in a decent image which is a bit professional looking and update this over here you can update your name as well so once you do that this is done put in your designation whatever is your current designation should be over here you can also mention your company as well for now i'm just putting in the designation and also the location at which you currently are working right so i'm just going to edit that as well to bangalore india now if you see on the top right corner there is this map which I somehow do not like. So I'm just removing it out from here. You could keep it, you could edit it. Uh, it's up to you. I do not like it, so I'm just removing that. Now, uh, since we have a little bit more space over here on the top banner, what I'm going to do is extend this title a little bit more and add in something more that I'm more passionate about, which is YouTube content creation, All right? So I'm also adding that to my resume. Uh, once this is done, our top banner is ready. We'll start editing the personal info. However, I'm not in favor of giving your date of birth at all. So you could just go ahead and delete that as well. If you want, you could leave that with a date and the month or a month and a year. But uh, I still prefer not putting it at all because I don't think that's really useful. Make sure to also update your contact information, uh, provide your LinkedIn ID for sure. And if you have any websites or a channel or anything notable that you want to share, you could also put in that as well in the contact information. Now on the language section, as you can see, you can change any of these languages and change the size of the bar based on what is your understanding towards uh, these languages, right? And Finally, on the bottom left corner, we have these hobby section. These are really good hobbies like photography and all of this, but you might or might not share the same hobbies, right? So you might have to edit this for which you could pick up any of these icons from the stock images. Now, if suppose I like singing, I could just pull in a nice image for singing from these icons and just edit one of these or uh, change it and just make sure that it aligns well over here in between all the hobbies section right you might have completely different hobbies like solving puzzles right so you could look out for that as well from here from these stock images you might like gaming so you could pull that if you like to play cards you could do that right so it's basically you could change all of these icons as well basis of what you like to really do now the next and the most important section which is the about me now this has to be a strong section for you you need to make sure that this line over here is basically all that the other person who is coming to your resume is going to read right so make sure that is very strong also add in some most important notable stuff that you have done like for example the number of dashboards you have created the awards you have won the uh, client satisfaction that you have received right or any kinds of accolades or anything that you would want the recruiter to have a look at when they first open your resume a notable thing should be mentioned over here the education is also an important part of your resume so make sure that you update it as well you could add in your ssc hsc uh, details with the percentages and a little bit more about it or you could just say 10th and 12th uh, as well uh, it's up to you how do you want to mention that and then just make sure that it is uh, in the order of how it happened if you are not a postgraduate and you don't have anything to add over here you could just simply delete this however i would want you to also put in any kinds of certifications if you have any to be added up here so that um, they can be noticed as well now the career timeline is one of my favorite uh, sections in this resume as you can see it's a very simple one where you have the name of the company followed by the designation it's easy to edit so you can just simply move around and make sure to also add any kind of notable awards that you might have won in your career during that time the expertise is also an important section make sure to edit this the size of the bubble represents the percentage make sure the percentage adds up to a hundred in total right uh, when we come to the skills right the skills is something that we all should 
be mentioning on our resume and if you could see it's very very easy to edit any of these skills over here you can color code them basis how you want so these bubbles are easily color codable so just make sure to update the heading and basis how you rate yourself in each of these skills you can just change in the colors of uh, of these bubbles over here so with that we have our resume ready right the template is completely free you could save this you could download this as many times as you would want to right so first let's go ahead and save this as a simple uh, presentation so that it's not lost so anytime if you have to edit you can always refer back to this particular version of your resume uh, next let's also save this as a pdf because most of the recruiters would want to have this in a pdf format for that you just have to change the file format from pptx to pdf right so once you change the export format to pdf and save it you should be also able to open it in a pdf format so let's just quickly see how it looks like as well so here is the pdf version of my resume and this is how it looks in a full screen mode so with that uh, this was a short and simple video that you can follow as well along with me in how you can create a great looking uh, resume which is completely free multiple times could be edited and changed as per your uh, needs right so if you like this video then please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button thank you so much for watching this and it has been a pleasure creating all of these different videos for you guys i know uh, you know some of you want to land up a job and are looking for great templates and i hope that this one would definitely definitely help you thank you everyone and stay tuned for more such videos in the future